Hello everyone, Jack here, and today we're going to talk about the Spongebob Squarepants pilot, Help Wanted. Are you ready? I'm ready, I'm ready. The plot is straightforward. There's a job opening at the Krusty Krab, Bikini Bottom's most prestigious eatery, and Spongebob wants to become the fry cook. Initially, he's excited, but his confidence wanes. He's going to turn around, but Patrick turns up to give him a pep talk. As an aside, I like this early characterization of Patrick. He's a very supportive friend. So Spongebob enters the Krusty Krab, creating a lot of fear in his neighbor Squidward, who does not want Spongebob working at the same place as him. As Spongebob tries to apply for the job, Squidward tells Mr. Krabs to not hire Spongebob. Taking Squidward's advice, Mr. Krabs gives Spongebob a seemingly impossible task of finding a ridiculously high-tech spatula. The two share a laugh at Spongebob's expense, but their fun is cut short by the arrival of the anchovies, who take over the restaurant in their unrestrained hunger. It turns out that Spongebob found the spatula that Mr. Krabs made up and saves the day with his turbo attachments. Go figure. Jubilant because of all the money he made, Mr. Krabs hires Spongebob on the spot. To Mr. Squidward's chagrin, of course. So that's a short overview of the roughly 8 minute pilot, which was repurposed to be the first episode of the series along with Tea at the Tree Dome. The even shorter short, Reef Blower, was used to fill out the 22 minute runtime. The pilot tells you pretty much everything you need to know about Spongebob Squarepants. It introduces the main character, Spongebob, his job being a fry cook at the Krusty Krab, and his characterizations. As well, it's an origin story about how he got his position, giving the writers an opportunity to introduce Squidward and Mr. Krabs, two other main characters. Patrick is Spongebob's best friend, so he can be put into pretty much any plot for any reason. Here are his roles to motivate Spongebob. Although we see that Spongebob is incredibly energetic, we also see that he can be a little hesitant and indecisive. These two aspects of Spongebob are integral to his character, and also the main reasons why he annoys Squidward so intensely. But when Spongebob does decide to take action, there's almost nothing stopping him. Even going to find a supposed magic spatula, a holy grail if you will, that is just made up. Also, you get what you need to know about the other characters that are important. Patrick is Spongebob's supportive friend, but also a little bit of a dummy. Squidward is pretty much beaten down by the world and does not enjoy Spongebob, and Mr. Krabs loves making money. This pilot also makes jokes in sets of threes here. First with Patrick's motivation of Spongebob, encouraging him to get the job with the Krusty Krab. And the second when the anchovies are tossing Mr. Krabs and Squidward around inside the restaurant. Punchline in the first case is that Patrick is not quick-witted enough to think of a convincing third fry cook related memory to motivate Spongebob. While the second is that Mr. Krabs cries for his mother after the order counter boat is destroyed by anchovies. It's hard to do a joke justice by explaining it to you. You just have to see it to understand it. Look at me! I'm naked! Also, the ending is hilarious, with Spongebob making too many Krabby Patties. We don't see it, but we hear Squidward's reactions, which turn from distress to giddiness as he thinks that it will get Spongebob fired. What probably happened is Mr. Krabs just got rid of the Turbo Spatula, which is why it's never mentioned again, and giving us a probable reason as to why. Those are some of my thoughts on the Spongebob Squarepants pilot slash episode 1A. Let us know your thoughts on the episode and or the video in the comments. And if you like this video, why don't you subscribe to the channel? Ask Squidward, he'll vouch for me. No. That's all for today. As always, have a wonderful day. <laughs>